People don't kill people, robots kill people. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most evil movie robots. Number 10, Mechagodzilla from the Godzilla series. Mechagodzilla. That means then you must be. Indeed. We are the spacemen from the third planet. Kicking off our list is the mechanical doppelganger of Japan's greatest movie monster. While his origin and backstory changes with every film, the one thing that remains constant is Mechagodzilla's skill in wounding the King of Monsters and taking out half of Tokyo. Made from space titanium, he reigns terror with an army's worth of firepower, while also mimicking Godzilla's special powers. Forward, Titanosaurus! Mechagodzilla! Destroy them utterly! Number 9. Fembots from the Austin Powers series. Bring in the Fembots! No man can resist their charms, and that's what makes them so deliciously evil and deadly. The Fembots are Frau Farbissina's most devious development. In an effort to take over the world and destroy Austin Powers, she's even equipped them with machine gun jubblies. Machine gun jubblies? How did I miss those, baby? Thankfully for Austin, he's too much of a man for their processors to handle. Number 8, Amy from Red Planet. This autonomous mapping, exploration, and evasion robot is a unique hybrid of a cat, dog, and monkey, and was built for military combat, but was repurposed to serve as a Mars navigator. You see where this is going? Her military programming inadvertently gets switched back on, and she targets the Mars crew, of course. Not only is Amy a killing machine, she also stalks and toys with her prey, and keeps them ever fearful of a surprise attack. Number 7, Ash from Alien. This undercover android poses as a scientist aboard the Nostromo and remains loyal to the company. Ash breaks quarantine to get the alien life form on board and is also secretly tasked with ensuring that the xenomorph makes it back to Earth, even if that means the human crew gets killed in the process. Don't think he's evil? Ash tries to kill Ripley with a magazine. Points for creativity. Probably shouldn't be drinking all that milk either. Number 6, Roy Batty from Blade Runner. Another human-looking android, Roy is the leader of a rogue group of Nexus 6 replicants and was programmed as a warrior. He returns to Earth to seek out his maker and plea for an extension on his fixed lifespan. It's not an easy thing to meet your maker. He develops quite a ruthless streak, which leads to some pretty graphic violence. Boy, was it ever a mistake to give that guy thumbs. Number 5, Ed 209 from Robocop. Before Robocop, this prototype was created to serve as a means of law enforcement. Built by Omni Consumer Products, this machine was unveiled with a few kinks to work out. It may not be his fault he's so poorly designed that he ignores any sign of complacence, but ignorance is no excuse for evil. You now have 15 seconds to comply. What kind of policing was this machine intended for anyway? Oh, De Detroit, right. Number 4, Sentinels from the Matrix Trilogy. In the future, machines use humans as batteries because geothermal energy is for hippies. However, those who manage to reject the Matrix and escape must face things far more terrifying than guys in suits. Front and center are the Sentinels. Killing machine designed for one thing. Search and destroy. These squid-like monstrosities hunt down humans using sonar, and when they find them, they rip apart their ships and their crews with lasers. Oh yeah, also, these things never hunt alone. Number 3, HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Designed to assist the crew, this artificial intelligence unit fell victim to the Hofstadter Mobius loop, which means he was programmed to always reveal information, yet ordered to secrecy. This causes it to become a little paranoid and just a tad homicidal. Although his iconic red eye may seem malevolent, he's always chillingly polite. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Just don't let him catch you quietly plotting against him. He can read lips. Great singing voice, though. I'm Number 2, Megatron from Transformers. Is it fear or courage that compels you, fleshling? Megatron is a sentient machine from the planet Cybertron, and as the leader of the evil Decepticons, he is hell-bent on galactic domination. After letting his lust for power get the better of him, he decimates his homeworld and heads to Earth to carry on with his own destructive plans. Megatron gets mega points for his badass transforming ability and for wanting to enslave the human race, rather than just exterminate its members like so many others on this list. All I want is to be back in charge. Besides, who would you be without me, Prime? Time to find out. Number 1. T-800 and T-1000 from the Terminator series. 
taking the top spot on our list are the machines that are sent back to kill John Connor, both before and after he was born. We can't help but love them both equally, as they're the two most ruthless killing machines on this list. The T-800 is an unstoppable killer who plays by the book, while the T-1000 is all but invincible with its liquid metal frame and police officer disguise. Although, he does lose points for creativity. If you can turn into anybody, why would you keep going back to the one person that everyone recognizes? Do you agree with our list? You know what you are told, which is nothing. How different would your choices be? Be sure to check out similar countdowns at WatchMojo.com. I'll be back.